an employment agency in Frankfurt um, uh, is looking for 8,000 employees for Tesla Giga Berlin. Together with Tesla, this employment agency is looking for employees for the plant factory near Grünheide that Tesla is building, known as Giga Berlin, and around 8,000 people are expected to work there by next summer. Employment agencies are trained in Frankfurt order and they're looking for this many people. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. It looks like what we have been talking about Tesla Giga Berlin for so many uh, days and weeks in the past uh, six to eight months are coming to fruition. That we were talking about Tesla will employ up to 10,000 people and then if full uh, at full uh, swing will employ up to 40,000 people are getting close to reality because now we're learning from uh, Brandenburg Public Radio, RBB24, that an employment agency in Frankfurt on order, um, don't confuse it from Frankfurt on mine by down Frankfurt on order is looking for 8,000 people and will train around 500 employment um, and will and actually um, will train around 500 employment agencies in Berlin and Brandenburg over the next few weeks so this is a project a project group from the Frankfurt employment agency what did they will do they will train around 500 employment agencies in Berlin and Brandenburg over the next few weeks in the future they should look for very different professional groups for Tesla from warehouse employees to engineers for printing technology to managers all to work for Tesla Germany and specifically for Tesla Giga Berlin according to information from the employment agency the group wants to orient itself towards the wages of the metal and electrical industry the starting salary should be more than 2700 euros gross per month now for some people i've been reading it's not high salary and uh, but it's not it's not it's not low if you're coming from slobice or from poland slobice is in poland but it's low for german standards and i will tell you a little bit later after i present you the news what the what generally people speak uh, in the comment section of uh, rbb's report so rbb says that the employment agency is breaking new ground it is the first time that they have worked with a corporation in this way said uh, the head of the employment agency uh, Jochen Freyer on Friday here is a quote he says usually we mediate and advise from the agencies and visit companies on a case-by-case -case basis to clarify individual questions continuous Freyer we made a different decision here because it is a special project and the dimensions with up to 12,000 employees are enormous now also uh, looking for a career changers they're looking for people who want to change their clear uh, careers and uh, above all later uh, lateral entrance will be accepted for simple jobs and also unemployed people said Freyer to rbb24 people without a vocational qualification would also be eligible and they would also receive collective wages this is a wage that we haven't seen here for a long time so while it seems low for us and um, and western europe but uh, he says that this is a wage that we haven't seen here for a long time tesla is currently building an electric car factory in grunheide known as giga berlin uh, and the group wants to start production in summer 2021 with the start of uh, model y electric crossover and according to the ministry of the environment uh, uh, an initial capacity of 500,000 cars per year is requested and around 8,000 people are to work there in this first expansion stage. Uh, the agency wants to recruit employees primarily from Brandenburg and Berlin areas. Now, uh, the, the word out there is that this uh, starting wage of 2,700 euros is above the median wage for the region. The agency and Tesla started working together in May. For two weeks, the employment agency has been running an office together with the group to push ahead with the search for employees. According to initial statements, 
Tesla employees should definitely belong to the better paid half of Brandenburg's working population. The median wage in Brandenburg is 2,700 euros, said Freyer. Median wages mean that 50% of all working people earn more than more and 50% less that's the median uh, wage of 2700 euros at tesla employees at the lowest wage level will be above the median uh, wage said um said fryer now i was looking at the comments under this report on brandenburg's uh, uh, public radio rbb24 and i'm um, as i was looking at the comments i see that people are complaining some people are complaining some people are positive and those who are complaining uh, that uh, they say that the starting salary is low they're probably expecting uh, tesla to pay more for example one person is writing saying how are all the low wage workers supposed to get there uh, that is de facto impossible with the OPNV from Berlin or takes hours to get there. To this day, I tend to think that you want to attract people from Poland. It should take as long from Slovice as from wedding. Tesla creams of grant funding in order then to exploit the people nicely. That's his opinion. I don't know, but yeah, uh, yeah, the, the point here I think is that uh, I don't think Tesla can find that many uh, um, 2,700 uh, euro salaried workers right from Grünheide, Erkner or the area. People need to come from Berlin or slow bits of in Poland or elsewhere. And uh, he is doubting that people can afford doing that. Um, and another person says anyone who has a good job as an engineer or qualified skilled worker will hardly give that up. Skilled workers are rare and in demand they will hardly take a job on the assembly line plant maintenance is more demanding very stressful to work in three shift operation if you also use skilled workers for production the quality uh, it says if you also use skilled workers for production the quality will suffer for a long time if you don't use skilled workers i think that mean and volkswagen for example trains itself and the initial earnings are considerable um, they probably train their employees and uh, pay apparently higher than tesla and uh, a six significant proportion of the staff will be recruited from Poland this person says and he says uh, this results in the already mentioned problem of getting there uh, uh, from a distance which is uh, unaffordable and difficult and say uh, why should you buy a Tesla go for a hybrid which is a which is a better option uh, than going totally IC which they don't want to do but there are also positive opinions as well for example one person named Joachim is writing saying it's nice that well-paid jobs are being created in our region i thought you would listen to the few hundred i thought actually you you would um, uh, you wouldn't listen to few hundred people with their negative views but i will listen to the positive voices uh, he says yes screaming and singing out loud doesn't help the region we need to create jobs thanks to the politicians in Brand brandenburg and to the majority of the brandenburgers who welcome a few Future worth living in thanks also to Elon Musk and Tesla for bringing these jobs to uh, to the region well friends you see they're already starting to recruit for Tesla Grünheide if you are interested to work um, for Tesla in general or for Giga Berlin check out my previews report and there is uh, just previous one in which I have discussed what question Tesla engineers ask when they're recruiting people. They are primarily looking for, not for your major achievements that you have done with the team in your previous job, but they want to know what small achievements you have done in which you have been in charge and change that you have brought in your uh, software or um, electrical or mechanical career. And that's what exactly they want to know. So be prepared to answer that question. Uh, well, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And please also know that we're looking at Torque News daily Tesla reporters. If you would like to report news for, uh, for Torque News, Tesla news or electric vehicle news, and you are uh, enthusiastic and excited about this, um, please send me an email uh, using my... Um, 
uh, email at about page of our talk news youtube channel you can find it there and if you wish please send me a sample story i would love to read that or just contact me and we'll take it from there we're looking for tesla reporters at talk news have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and let me know what you think about tesla recruiting 8,000 workers for the first phase of giga berlin see you soon